When I first heard the statement, I couldn't believe my ears. I thought for sure I had made a mistake. Then later on in the news, I heard it again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On April 20th, 1990, over 50,000 demonstrators gathered in New York to protest a federal health policy that excluded Haitians from donating blood. That policy was adopted because the U.S. Food and Drugs Administration considered Haitians to be likely carriers of the HIV virus. That march across the Brooklyn Bridge set out to be until now the largest march ever organized by Haitian leaders on foreign soil. 20 years later, as Haitians are getting ready to rebuild their country devastated by natural disasters, they find themselves again dealing with an issue that was once settled. There's a difference between that which is a joke and that which is purely offensive. And in this case, this was a purely offensive, off-color remark that is, needs to be stopped from the thought process. This statement is not only offensive to Haitian women. This statement is offensive to all women. On December 17, 2010, Mr. Luis Diaz, AKA DJ Cypher Sounds, a host on Hot 97 radio station in New York City with 25 million listeners made this comment. A lot of Haitians calling up the radio station, making complaints, and a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook and all that about a joke I made early this morning on the morning show. The Haitian community in New York quickly reacted by calling for the resignation of Mr. Diaz, who had since apologized in the same radio station for his demeaning statement. You are not putting this label on us. We are not going to take this. And so today we say, Hot 97, to their listeners, that it is unacceptable and it is disgraceful. This will serve as an important piece of record that tells the story of a people in a struggle to redefine themselves to the world and bring back prestige to their community. Those of us who are even here in South Florida will not stand for such comments. Freedom is, is, is not free, actually, but we do know that there is a constitutional protection against free speech, but it needs to be curtailed with truth. And once we have intolerant statements such as Luis Diaz, AKA DJ Cypher Sound has made, it is up to us to use our freedom of speech to turn the tides on that which is false light and that is not right and that is actually untrue. Is a coward because you don't pick on people when they're down. I say coward for a reason because really I know for sure this gentleman, Mr. Diaz, would never, would never at any moment in time poke fun at several other ethnic groups in New York City. I don't need to name them because he knows the repercussion would have been very severe. He would not do that. So for him to pick on Haitian certainly demonstrate cowardice on his part. You don't mix Haitian and HIV together, especially with the type of history that we've had with HIV. Our community, the Haitian community, and those that care about us walked 
across the Brooklyn Bridge almost 20 years ago to say, you are not putting this label on us. We fought so long to bring and to change the stigma that that's been poisoned in people's minds for, for the Haitian community. And I stand here firm and stand here tall. The designation that was made by the Center for Disease Control was an unscientific designation that prevented people from donating blood. It brought back lots of old memories, uh, disturbing, hurtful old memories. I was part of the generation that was growing up when the FDA labeled Haitians as one of the five AIDS carriers in the 80s. So I saw my parents very active in fighting against that label for years. Uh, he has opened up a wound for people and potential uh, complications on people's jobs and in people's lives that he, he will have no idea about. As an attorney, I, can, I would fight for his constitutional right to free speech. However, free speech, I think, should also be tempered with responsible, uh, caring speech. I mean, one would think that with the millions of dollars spent on the education of America on the subject of HIV and AIDS, such statement would be completely obsolete. So as a TV and radio personality, I'm aware of the power of my words. But how do you go back to 25 million people to reassure them that such statement was just a joke? There is a line between joking and incendiary comments. Unfortunately, Cypher Sound has crossed that line. Personally, I empathize with Mr. Diaz. But this is not a personal matter. It's a national one. His words struck an entire nation. And to say something so demeaning about an entire group of people was irresponsible. This is not only a Haitian thing, this is a New York thing, that is, we have all come together. And we're not going to stop. As we've said, this is only the beginning. When you infringe on the dignity and respect of one group, you infringe on the dignity of all. Let me tell you, Mr. DJ, what I see when I see Haitian women. I see perseverance. I see strength. I see tenacity. I see love. Haitian women are dynamic, courageous, hardworking, nurturing, determined, entrepreneurial, smart group of people. DJ Cypher Sounds is quite aware of the history that Haitians have played in making America the beautiful place that we are today. So that's the message to the young people. Really go back and research the history and understand why Haiti is so important to our freedom. Even the freedom that ironically allows DJ Cypher Sounds to say the detestable gross statements, defamatory comments that he made. You know, I have a daughter, and you know, she's proud to say she's Haitian because she knows her father won't tolerate any less. And plus, I brought her up that way to be a proud Haitian, you know, young lady that knows her history and knows that the history is rich and knows that there's stereotypes and against stigmas and you know these things that are plagued against you know being Haitian but you still stick out your chest because you know these things are false and you know that these are these are basically just labels that people put on you because of their ignorance they don't really know who you are we are a great nation and that for what we have accomplished so far we are the potomitan of our culture. And we must, must stick together to send a strong message to the world that this statement is unacceptable and by any means defines us as a people. Why do we want justice? Why do we want justice? Why do we want justice? When we want it now? It's been scientifically debunked 
we have been removed from the FDA list. Uh, you know, studies come up from time to time that try to reassert that fact, but there is nothing to conclusively show that Haitians are genetically uh, predisposed more than any other group to HIV AIDS. So that needs to be understood by our youth. That we educate the kids about HIV, what it is. And then we also educate them and let them know that these stereotypes about one group of people or nationality carrying HIV is absurd. We use this opportunity to launch an HIV prevention campaign. Yes. They have the opportunity to talk to young people, their largest listeners, people of color who are disproportionately affected by HIV in this country. So take this opportunity, Hot 97, to make things right. The message again to the youth at this junction, first and foremost, is that they need to take advantage of the opportunity to really have true information and not just allow anything and, um, that people say, whether it be through any broadcast medium, uh, uh, to influence them. Words have power. And so for our youth, when they're speaking to each other, when they're speaking of themselves and with their parents, they need to understand words have power and that there are consequences and, and pain that can be brought from your words and for DJ Cypher to understand that the same is the tr uh, true about himself. Sure, he has a right to say what he wants to say, but there are consequences and, and real consequences in people's lives that he's not thinking about that he should think about. We need to uplift each other, especially our women, our wives, our mothers, our daughters and sisters in making certain that proper actions are taken and this does not repeat. Marjorie Shiba, thank you so much. Thank you so much, it was a pleasure. As you may have just noticed, the Haitian community is crying out loud for disenfranchisement to stop. Let this be an opportunity for future generation not to relieve what many of us foot for. Thank you. Haitians rise. Be proud of your culture. Raise your flag like a Rochambeau soldier. First of slaves to battle and be free. Claim with pride your country's history. Though your treasured land has been defamed, lied about in prints and on the news, don't you bow your head and be ashamed. You are more than what they make of you. Clueless men who speak their ignorance with their hate-infested sentiments, deepening our pain to the wounds of our past, expurging our joy with their hatred unmasked. Let's be one in our plight and divided no more. We fight all the same fight, though divided by shores, bonded by fate. We are so to each other, Haitians, rise. Be proud of your culture. Bukila, ma blas lamu. Bukisu inu vina mel bedigu aje tande kriayo tande kriayo soveyo. Turn it up. 